Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we've got another review on the foot birthday class Jan Huntler. We're going to go through the card, his detail stats, clips and summary, as well as the grind requirements for you guys to get your hands on him. Before we get into all of that, if I could ask you guys to please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you know when I upload, and comment down below if you're going to be doing this grind. I'm sorry it's so delayed guys, but we did get there in the end. Without further ado, let's just get into the review. So guys, this is the team that I use class Jan Huntelar and I played him in that striker spot, of course, in the 4-2-3-1. And I, as for overall, guys, my first impression is this card. I think this card is decent. I don't think he's amazing, guys. And I think compared to the other previous week's cards, he's got some shortcomings and some positives over them as well. But further ado, though, let's just get into the player himself. Class Jan Huntelar, six foot one, medium work, medium, medium work rate, right footed, three shots moves, and five star. Week foot four games played, eleven goals scored, and two assists. Now, guys, all of this looks lovely. The medium, medium work rates are a little bit annoying in terms of his positioning and movement. He does feel a little bit lazy up front. And um, the three star weak foot, of course, few skillers as well, is a bit annoying as well. For me, I didn't notice that too much, but the five star weak foot is a big one for me, guys. And he really does feel good on both of those feet, of course. 11 goals scored in Division 2 in four games, so not bad, and two assists as well, so not a bad return at all for a player of this caliber, considering he is a free card as well. Getting into the details, we use an engine chemistry style on him. Um, I did try a hunter on him, I did try a catalyst on him, but actually when I switched the engine for the third and fourth games, I found that that was the best way to influence how well this card played, which leads me into the attribute details, guys. Now, the key ones for this card, the pros, 99 attack positioning, 98 uh, finishing, 91 shot power, all fantastic, and then you've got the physicality 87 stamina 90 strength and 81 aggression as well as 90 heading accuracy now the cons of this card guys his acceleration is really poor guys he feels a lot slower than that 91 sprint speed and because of the 82 acceleration as well he really doesn't get off the mark that well um his dribbling would look like it would feel quite poor but actually guys you'll see from a lot of the clips he was okay at the dribbling um especially with that boost to his balance dribbling and agility he actually felt quite smooth on the ball for a bigger striker although he's got good heading accuracy as well guys that 79 jumping uh is quite poor in terms of getting up and winning the headers as well and his passing isn't great either guys so there are quite a few shortcomings with this card uh, one other thing i've got to mention as well guys in terms of pro 97 composure uh so decent there as well finally guys getting into the player traits he's got the finesse shot trait uh, which is of course lovely to have um but no other traits to speak of and now that we've covered that we're going to get into what the grand requirements are for you guys to get your hands on so guys getting into some of class Jan Huntelar's uh, requirements assist four goals with through balls using forwards in the managerial masterpiece score two outside of the box goals score eight goals using Dutch players to win seven matches and score in 13 separate matches using Bundesliga players now guys all of these are actually less than or lesser to an extent than the requirements for every other player usually it's 15 games you have to score in the managerial masterpiece this is only 13 for this one um seven wins as well is lower than the usual eight um and the other ones are actually fairly easy to do i think um if you can find someone and none of these guys have to be done in separate games the first three they're all uh in however many games you can manage them in so that's quite nice as well the wins and the matches of course are always the drag of these objectives but as it's less than normal i do say this is a big dub in terms of what you you're getting uh, and now that we've covered that we're going to get into some of the clips that i got with him so guys getting into this class jan huntelar summary and what you guys are going to see is his general ability to play all facets of the big man game up front now the first thing i want to get into you guys is the big con is his pace now his pace is really lacking guys and because he has only 82 acceleration i feel like this card really struggled in terms of speed even with the catalyst boost that i had on him for one game i felt like he was really slow really stiff uh, and if you don't boost other elements of this card what ends up happening is he feels very clunky as well on the ball now guys although he does have 91 sprint speed as well that's another point to mention is that that doesn't really help him because you're not really bursting a lot with this card in behind um, because that acceleration isn't great he won't be able to get off the mark super quick against those center backs and therefore allows people to track him in quite well so you end up playing with him more as a target man or a big man and that means that the sprints aren't necessarily going to be as useful for you the next part of his game we'll get into is his dribbling and that was quite surprising in terms of what he was able to do guys with the engine on him I felt like he was very smooth actually for a big man as well with the engine on him. I, I tried to use this card in a similar way to Olivier Giroud and actually found him smoother than Giroud, although I don't feel like his shooting was as good. We'll get into that shortly, but I felt like his dribbling was okay for a big man and I feel like it's usable. Um, I don't feel like it's particularly special, but it's good enough to be able to create opportunities for yourself uh, and then score those goals as well. The next thing I want to get into guys 
is his passing now his passing was okay guys uh i did feel like at times it was very good and then at times it was really bad so very hit and miss in terms of what he's able to do um but you guys can see the simple one twos that you can that you do with this card very easy to play those of course doesn't really mess those up uh, tends to get them right as well which leads me into the physicality of this card now guys the physicality of this card is pretty decent I do feel like his strength played a big factor in how well I was able to play with him because he's able to hold off those defenders with that big frame and good amount of strength. However, guys, this directly leads into a con of this card is that his shooting, heading, and general finishing just weren't good enough. Although he has 98 finishing, 97 composure, this card missed a lot of easy chances for me. Chances which I thought he really should have scored. Now, that's mainly because, of course, he is not a long shot taker. You will really struggle for long shots with this card. But what this card was very good at is when you get into the box and get those easy chances he's able to stick those away but i kind of take those for granted in terms of all strikers being able to do those chances like that there where he's missing it was really inconsistent for me guys in terms of finishing and although i did enjoy using him and did get a decent record with him i feel like if i was seeing those misses consistently which i was seeing in those four games it would really great on me in terms of what i want this card to be able to do we're now though going to get into some of the finishes I did get with him. Unfortunately, guys, I did not get a header with him. Um, that kind of speaks to itself in that his jumping is really poor, but his heading is pretty decent. So you do want to pay attention to that is that you will not be playing this guy as a traditional big man. You will have to use him in a different way because his heading, although he can get the headers and get them in, he doesn't win them off the corners or the crosses as much as he should. So you have to use him in a slightly different way. If I was going to compare him to Olivier Giroud in terms of direct comparison, I think this card is better, certainly in the technical element of dribbling. Um, passing, maybe not, but shooting, definitely not comparable. I think Giroud's shooting a lot better than this card, but this card does have decent shooting, guys, and is able to finish well. Uh, given the easy opportunities that you'll be able to present with him with that weak foot as well, he's even more lethal too. Getting into these final few clips, guys, you're just going to see more of the same from Klassian Huntelaar. And clips from start to finish really summarize what I was doing with this card. Although you do get a bit of luck in this clip here. Makes a decent run into the box, gets a bit of luck there, picks it up. Tight dribbling there actually and finessing it in. And in these last couple of clips, more of the same. Lovely positioning again, that 99 attack position really coming into play because he puts defenders on the back foot on the edge of the box. And this one here, just smashing it in with this left foot shot, or right foot shot, sorry, right here. So guys, getting into this final Klassian Huntelaar summary, of course, doesn't cost you anything on the PlayStation, Xbox, or PC, just your time to grind out those objectives. And if we just get straight into the key stats, of course, the positioning, the finishing, the shot power, all fantastic. The long shots could use a little bit of help, um, but overall, guys, I think that this card is pretty decent at all parts of the game, but not particularly special at the parts he should be special at, which in particular are the shooting and the heading. I think he just was very average in that regard. The chemistry styles I used on him, guys, were the first one was Hunter. Now that still felt like it was too slow for him and I felt like if I'm going to use a hunter and I'm going to use it I'm really wasting on parts of his shooting because his finishing doesn't really go up by that much so I felt like a big waste using that on this card. If I put the catalyst on him that does a lot for his passing and link up play however guys what I would say is that his pace still felt very slow even with the catalyst on him so I ended up going to the engine in order to boost that dribbling stats uh, help him out a little bit on the passing and then help his speed out a little bit as well because although if you don't help him out a little bit on that speed he will feel uh, embarrassingly slow so you do need that in terms of helping his speed out. In terms of similar players, guys, I would say Giroud isn't a bad comparison to this card. Um, I don't feel like he's too dissimilar from that card. I think Giroud's obviously a bigger body type than this card, um, and a little, uh, but a lot of the situations or the, the play of Giroud uh, very similar to how this card plays. In terms of the linkability, guys, you've got no perfect links there, but you've of course got strong links to all the Dutch icons, um, as well as Schalke players as well, uh, as well as other Dutch players in the Bundesliga, like Daily Sinkraven's card, uh, to Veghorst as well, Schalke players like Fries, Sané uh, or Harit there, the inform as well. Which leads me into my final recommendation, guys, because there is no price comparison. If you were to ask me how this card stacks up against other free cards, I'd say it does pretty well. Generally, it would because of the rating is going up. However, if you ask me how does it compare directly to someone, say, like Olivier Giroud, I personally prefer Giroud because he was able to finish more consistently like a striker should be able to do, in my opinion. Um, I feel like a striker's primary function should be to finish the goals. It shouldn't be to dribble well or link up the play well. You have to be able to finish goals first and foremost with a striker. And for me, the inconsistency in this card meant that he wasn't really 
doing that job for me and i feel like if that's enough of a reason to put some of you off then fair dues i do feel like if you if you want to grind this card out for icon swaps as well it's a good idea because this card will be able to finish off some chances given the right uh chemistry boost just use them up front to get those long shots in but guys i wouldn't be going out of your way to grind this card out i think this card's just okay not quite at the level of previous weeks um and but it's still again a free card guys so i'm not going to say not to recommend it but i would say that if you are thinking about grinding this out or grinding icon swaps out or doing something else i would prioritize this card lower than icon swaps just because i don't feel like he quite rises to that level hope you guys did enjoy this review if you did please do smash that like button until next time i'll see you all in a bit